Hello YouTube, this is a video on getting the Mac OS X font smoothing in Windows using a little a little tool called GDI++ the link will be in the description so download GDI0870 that I found that to be the most easiest to use and so save it, extract it and do that and inside you should get all of this you need to run gditray.exe GDI trade or exe. So double click and run that. Or sit in your system tray. And in here you can set your preferences. So just select which one you want. Um, if you go to P, you can um, select A, which will save your preferences every time you start GDI tray. So <coughs> I recommend um, ticking that if you want to use this quite often. Um, also, to, to let it start, make a, f a shortcut in your startup folder um, to let it start up, and then you're pretty much done. Um, makes the font look nice. Personally, personally, I like clear type. However, this font just looks um, better to me. If I make this smaller, all right. I'm gonna try and compare the fonts. Okay. So as you can see, at the moment it's using GDI++ now, if I disable that and hover over, it will change it, so there you go, kind of changes it. And you can see the difference in C, uh, the C drive and my E drive font. Um, the C drive kind of looks a bit more darker, that's a clear type font, it looks darker, uh, it's a bit more bold, I guess, standing out. Um, the GDI++ font looks um, more softer easy on the eye <coughs> and just looks cool um, and that's why I use it so I just hover over kind of if you hover over then you'll change back to its original font there you go there you go and down here there you go so yeah that's pretty much it GDI++ um, getting the Mac font smoothing in Windows so um, the link will be in the description, please comment, rate and subscribe if you like our videos, thanks again.